put in my neck because you know my, my 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 spine was collapsing. Right. I don't know how that happened. Oh, I wonder why. No. <laughs> so they they go in, they do the deal. They, I'm in the recovery room, and my neck is swelling. So I'm bleeding inside, and I'm, I have a hematoma in there. Oh shit. Back into the emergency, you know, operating room. They open me back up, take care of business, close me back up. <clears throat> They're afraid that I'm not going to be able to keep breathing because it was choking my airway. Mm. They intubate me with a breathing tube, put oh, me on a ventilator. I wake up to that noise. Now they keep me in the hospital for like another eight days. Send me home. I'm home for like two weeks. I'm not feeling good. I said to my wife, don't don't go out. Don't cook nothing. I'll just get us some takeout and a bottle of wine. Mm. You know, March 28th. Give a free. I go, I said, I got to go to the bathroom. I feel constipated, you know. But I can't go. I stand up from, from the toilet. Mm -hmm. Bang. Oh, sure. Face plant right on the ground. What happened? <laughs> I wound up. Now they got to come with the, the ambulance meat wagon. They take me out. What had happened was when they intubated me, I had two um, viruses in my intestines and my colon and one in my blood. Mm. I had a C. diff and I was septic. Mm. Uh, my blood pressure when they took me out of the house was 52. Oh, Jesus Christ. So they take me off to a hospital. I'm in the hospital now. I do another fucking, I don't know, week and a half in that hospital. Taking all kinds of pills and <laughs> needles and every fucking thing. I finally came home, and now I'm home, and so far, you know, everything seems to be okay. 